Hello, yeah, welcome back to my channel. Woo! <laughs> okay, yeah, as you know, it's Teresa the BC here giving it to you, out, out, whatever that means. That's my new song, whatever that means. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I'm in a park today, a beautiful park. And I'm not alone. I have this foodie with me. As always. A foodie. What is she doing? Eating. Okay, so yeah, today we just came to the park to have a very nice time. It's like, what's the time right now? Almost eight and it's just bright and clear. <laughs> Welcome to summer, guys. We're gonna eat and we're gonna talk and we're going to have fun. So basically, we just want you to join us on this vlog. So yeah, we're gonna set up right now. Stay tuned, they're going away. I think it was a bit lazy. Move. Move, move away. Move to this side. I can't oh, move. Why are you telling me to move? Just move now. Uh-uh. Hey, you're on my own channel. I don't even want to sit. What, what, do you, you what do you mean on your own channel? Don't yeah. I have my own channel? Did you did you come here to come and tell me? Move now. You, you, can't, not tell to me, you can't tell me where to sit to shoot my own video now. It's not about telling you where to. Do you know more than me? Uh-uh. What, kind of, what are you even saying? You always think that you're very smart and you're not smart. I'm not smart. You're not smart. I'm not smart. No. How many subscribers do you have on YouTube? What has How that got to do? How many subscribers do you have on YouTube? When they are telling you something, open your head, open your head, and do what they are telling you to you do. You should be the one to here? listen. You should be the one to listen. I'm not wasting that you're smart when you're talking. I'm not smart. You're not smart. I was home now. You called me that I should come and shoot this. this Don't meeting. even disturb me. If you want to go, just go. Hey guys. Yeah, open YouTube channel so that you can find this. <laughs> Who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. Yeah. So. Welcome back. Like I said, I'll be sharing some things with us or we'll be having a discussion. So it's for us to, you know, Judy Judy to eat our bum bum with our bum bum and our head with our head and learn together. Okay. All right. So um, we're just having this discussion and we decide to make this a topic. And that's about what do you say when you're angry? How do you let your anger out? How do you control yourself when, you know, things are really out on fire are you the type of person that will just just open your mouth the way all the words are just coming out you're just saying <laughs> you just point everything out or you're the kind of person that you know you have this kind of self-control thing that when it's happening you just be like no worries so for me i'm going to be telling you how i let my anger out and the person i have here with me which is not a guest she be telling I me now. I met you now, YouTube channel. She's not a guest, and she's not the owner of the channel, but she's shy. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Alam Jalam Inkelayola. As you all know, you know. Um, let me wear this. It makes me cross. So. Rewind. Hi guys, my name is Alam Jalam Inkelayola. As you all know. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm the guest on the show. Um, there is a Adebisi's channel. You know. I'm the guest. So ah. even if she does not introduce me, I introduce myself as the guest. I don't have a guest. Okay, so back to what we're talking about. So I'm going to be asking her how she lets her anger out too. In that moment that it seems like the whole world is, you know, turning around. How do you control yourself? So um, I would start. For me, when I'm angry, hmm, <laughs> I try to tell myself that I do not want to get angry because it affects every part of my body. Before we move to soul and spirit, mm. I start shaking. <laughs> you know, you, my hands will be shaking. My mouth, I'll, I start shaking like there's a generator inside of me. For you guys to just know, you know, like something with a lot of motion has been put inside of me and I'm just, you know, shaking and just fidgeting, something like that. And I mean, I try as much as possible not to talk because I realized that that period, I tend to lose my self-control, kind of, you know? Just say whatever comes to my mouth. I don't care how it's going to make the other person feel. But all I want to do is to make myself feel good. And to make myself feel good, I have to say all the terrible things in the world to that person. Which is something I'm working on. You know, working on controlling my anger, not just letting loose. That moment that I'm really angry, I really... 
or let's say I'm really trying to stay quiet. It's difficult to remain quiet when you're angry, actually. It's so very difficult. So I'm going to be asking, uh, I don't know, maybe there's someone there watching and when, you, when you're angry, you're so calm, please put it in the comment section. How do you do it? Please, what do you use? Just prescribe the same thing because I need it. I don't know about her. So, Olambe, how do you let loose when you're angry? Let loose. <laughs> me, she feels like vibrator is there, but me, it's not vibrator. <laughs> I corrected it. I said generator. I'm your friend. I, I view her status regularly and then there is one thing that she says a lot and, and she's so sure of herself that no matter how angry she, she is, she never insults someone. Hmm. I, don't know how she, I don't know how she does her thing, but like she has even narrated stories of when she really felt like the highest hunger in her, do you get? Like she was in rage literally and she did not say rubbish she did not insult the person i don't know how she does it i think this is one of the most difficult things to do like ever and when i'm angry um it's i'm not talking about like just the usual petty petty anger i'm talking about like really really angry i think I, I just want to leave. If it's if I'm on the phone, I want to hang up. If I'm if I'm in a place, I want to get out of that place because it's it's a terrible it's, it's a terrible thing because I still feel like it could get worse that I might not be able to I might do things that I will not be proud of. Not hit the person, but maybe wound myself or wound or or like um Spoil my phone. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I did it once before. <laughs> I, I, I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're the kind of person that when you're angry, no, no. you can break your TV. Mm, really? I don't think I can, but I have done it once before. Oh, but definitely you can. Yes, <laughs> I, I've, I've done something similar before. It was it was a compilation of anger. I wasn't angry at anybody. I was angry at myself for doing something consistently and I was just I was about to charge something and it was just giving me problem I was saying this 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 I just smashed everything after I smashed it <laughs> after I smashed it my former roommate one of them said I don't even think she can remember she would she would remember Kemi said now that you have smashed the phone I think your head is not correct I looked at her I wanted to break her head I just left <laughs> And I left the room. After, <laughs> and after a while, I go back into the room and I tried as much as possible not to make myself feel bad for what I did. But today, I'm still feeling bad for it. Oh, I kept no. telling myself that, ah, no, it's a fool. Eh, man, how much? Eh, it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. I still, I still feel terrible for doing that. Yeah. I'm just hearing this for the very first time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, I mean, definitely that happened so many years ago. And yeah. one thing about life is we keep learning and we keep growing. Now, we've said this from, you know, the normal point of view. Now, relating this to being Christians and what the Bible says, what God says about anger. Everybody, you know, we love to express ourselves. We love to, to make people understand that this is how I'm feeling. So I expect you to freaking get it. And if you cannot get it, then I transfer or say whatever I need to say to you to just make sure that you are affected. Now, as Christians, the Bible says something about I was getting angry but not sinning. <laughs> There's nothing as, well, how would I put it? Yeah, nothing that, more complicated like, in the Bible it's than not that. Madness. <laughs> Like it's, you, it's like you telling telling somebody to do something and not do the thing at like, the same time. And the fact that people don't really get it. They will tell you that, eh, Bible says we should be angry now, but we should not just sin. How do you want to be angry and you will not sin? That's the question. Is it possible? Like, let me ask you, do you think it's possible that you'll be angry and you won't sin? 
Um, I think that I think it's possible, but it's just for a split second or like some few seconds, such that you are angry at that particular time, and then you quickly snap out of it. That's the only reason why you will say that you will not say. So long as you are able to act on that particular thing that you feel, you already seen. Because when you act on anger, either you insult someone, or you cause someone, or you beat up the person, or you do something really silly to yourself, to the person, anything. It, it already means that you would sin, right? So I think with, with God and with like every other thing, you can have a feeling. What you do about that feeling is the, is the, is the problem. So, so when, you, when you have a feeling like you are, just, you are just angry, you just don't want to, if you immediately snap out of that, like you may tell yourself that you're not supposed to be feeling this type of way, then you can be angry at somebody and that's all. But when you act on that particular thing, or more, you don't so, go. So basically, it's just the actions that really matter. Yeah. Actions okay. matter a lot. So you can have the feeling and you snap out of it and you're good to go. But how easy is it for you to exactly. snap out? Exactly. When you are. Because at that point, it's not. If you see a trailer or a caterpillar, in your head, you have the power to leave that thing up. In the way you're angry. That's. It's a spirit. And that's why he's saying, you know, the spirit of anger. Because it's actually a spirit. It's like it comes into you at that moment. Huh? Anger. Anger. <laughs> An- anger. 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 And for that short 10, 5 minutes, it's like you have a, um, a bipolar disorder. That that spirit has taken over. And your real self is nowhere to be found. It's just that anger. 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 So I think... I mean, for those that can't control their anger, we should give you a name. We should give your anger spirit a name. So whenever you get there, you just say, oh, maybe your name is Precious on a normal day. When you're angry, you just say, oh, Lucy's, <laughs> Lucy's here. Because it's actually a spirit. Because nobody, nobody becomes proud of what they do after they get Yeah, angry. so it's clearly a spirit that we now must really pay attention to. So it boils down to you now studying yourself. I know that when, I, when I'm angry... I, I say things or do things that at the end of the day I won't be proud of. I've, you know, actually realized that. And then the next thing I'm now doing, consciously doing and intentionally doing is to make sure that when I'm angry, I try to stay mute. No matter how the talk wants to just... And if you, you know, it, it gets to the point that you can't really control yourself if you are looking at a person that is really triggering your anger. So if you know yourself and you know that that is who you are, just leave. They will call you also. See, there are, apart from the spirit of anger, there are also other spirits that used to help anger. There will be people that, they will be expecting you, you know, to fight back. They, they can even call you stupid and say, ah, this one is not smart. This one is very, she does not know how to talk. She can't do this. Don't answer them more because they are just agents of. <laughs> but I think that's also the most difficult part. It's not just, it's just, just because at that point, that's what you really want to do you don't want to leave you don't want to leave so like especially if you now want to now carry yourself you're you're forcing yourself the person now says where are you going where are you going <laughs> you will sit up and beat up the person <laughs> that's, that's just the thing it's like it's like you don't want to mm, I, that's I really, true i really can't explain that's true and we're going to be ending this video by just saying that Nobody can overcome the spirit of anger by themselves. themselves. No one. You can't. No matter how you tell me that, oh, you have self-control, you can, you, you can um, hold yourself not to say things or act. There's no way. Because this spirit of anger is not a joking spirit. And that's why we now need the spirit of God to really help us. It's something that you pray about. It's something that you're really intentional about. That God, I know I have the spirit of anger. I know I cannot control my anger. I know that once I get to this level, all heads wants to, you know, I just want to let all heads loose and just destroy things or destroy people with my words and all that. And one thing is, you can say so many things when you're angry, but you can't take those words back. Mm -hmm. One other thing that works is also not lying to yourself and being accountable. There is at least one person in your life that you know that can help you snap out of anger. Yes. So yes. Um, I, I think for me it's my it's my siblings. So um, so even if you are like really, really, really angry at a, at, at at some point and you really want to do something crazy, 
if if that if you can talk to this person that can actually help you snap out of this problem like talk to this person call yeah, this person true. tell this person i think that would also help that person will slap sense into you true true so you know these are just measures and you know the first thing we mentioned was for you right. to really pray to god that you should take the spirit of anger away because anger destroys things there are so many things so many battles that we're fighting today even in the world that it just okay. it was just better from this place of anger mm. that if these individuals had at some point control themselves the world would be a better place for us today so many things get ruined and destroyed from the place of anger so this is not just about you alone it's what affects every other person around you people far away from you so we should try as much as possible as christians as young believers that this spirit of anger should not you know get the the best of us but we should at every point in time learn to control and manage our anger yeah that's just what we wanted to drop for you today we hope that you learn one or two things and hope you are not angry at us and if you're angry at us who's gonna know nobody's gonna know <laughs> <laughs> okay so just the bible says you should live at peace with all men that is a must so no matter how you know someone has made you so angry and you just want to hate this person find a place you have to forgive and move on because what it does you more good than the other person yeah and that's it for today <laughs> now i'm not going to be angry at this cop <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, i just break this cup. oh my god no control your anger cheers <laughs> yeah and that's it from us today thanks for joining in don't forget to like share and you know subscribe join the family should i come your way next time